have been to Finland three times now and today we are finally going to do a traditional Finnish food tour. I am so excited to try all of the Finnish food that we haven't tried here before. There's gonna be some reindeer, some soup, maybe a few mystery items. So let's get started with our first restaurant right now. Oh, I like the sound effects. <laughs> Two years ago when we were in Finland, we tried to make a similar video like this, but we barely even knew how to talk to a camera or to put a video together. And so we're hoping this one's gonna be much, much better. We just sat down at this restaurant table, ordered a few things, and they all look really good. So this first place we went to actually is quite interesting. So we ordered up at the bar, we ordered some cod and a creamy salmon soup, but with the main entrees comes like this little salad bar. So we got pea soup, salmon salad and then these like sweet pancakes I think so we already have so much food to try before our main dishes even get here so I'm gonna start with the pea soup I have only had pea soup once on an Alaskan cruise and I loved it so I'm so excited to try it here there's nothing better on a cold snowy day than just like warm soup mm. oh yeah it's just creamy enough but it's not too creamy. There's little bits of pork, I think, in it. Oh, this is so good. It just warms you right up. That is delicious. Now I'm gonna try the salmon salad. It looks like bits of salmon with like potatoes, I believe. Mmm. I've never had like a salmon salad like this before, but the salmon in Finland is just so delicious. It doesn't taste fishy at all. I'm really excited to try the cod when they bring it because we've never actually had another fish in Finland, I think, other than salmon. So we'll see if that also doesn't have the fishy taste. Oh wow, this is so good. Jacob, you're gonna love this one. I'm excited for this it. This is so good. Mm. On the side there was like, I think it's butter or maybe cream cheese with like dill sauce in it. And I just got some of it on the bread and then I dipped it in the pea soup and it is literally life changing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And now we have our cod and our creamy salmon soup. And it looks like there's smoked salmon and cooked salmon in there. This is like the, I'm so happy right now. I love Finnish food so much. This is just making my day. This is, this is the best. I'm so pumped that we found this restaurant because when you're in an expensive city like Helsinki, it's really nice to get some extra dishes that you didn't think you were gonna try. Because, I mean, we were gonna order the pea soup anyway, but it just came free. So great. Oh, look at that sauce on there. Is that Hollandaise yeah, it's, sauce? It's I think? Hollandaise sauce. We got the Hollandaise sauce with the mashed potatoes and the breaded cod. Oh, and there's a lemon. Let me oh, actually. Taste good to squeeze gotta on squeeze fish. that on before I even try it. That cuts really nice. Yeah, that was nice. Do you say tender with fish? Smooth. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm really excited again that this entire meal was just slightly less than 30 euros for all of this stuff. So I guess I'll just get a bite of the breaded cod, a little bit of the mashed potatoes, and some hollandaise sauce. Get it all in one go. Oh wow. Jacob never has reactions like this. I just, hollandaise sauce is always amazing. I usually just have it on Eggs Benedict. That is, that is delicious. Mm. It was just like the saltiness of the sauce, and then you have the creamy mashed potatoes, and then the cod. I think I'm gonna give it one more try with the cod and the lemon, but without any of the other stuff, just so I can really taste the fish. Mmm. It's a really flaky outside. Mmm. Wow. This is delicious. I've been, oh, I feel like I've just been craving this food even though I haven't really thought about it. Wow, all right, that's great. Let's try the salmon soup now. Wait, you get to try both of them first? Yeah. No way, Jose. You, you already tried two no things. No way. You already tried two. Okay. <laughs> you made it sound so good. Wow, save me some hollandaise sauce. Save me a lot of it. I'm gonna eat it all. I like a lot of lemon on my fish. I'm gonna really, oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It literally just melts in your mouth. It is so lemony and tangy, and the cod is so soft, but then the outside is crunchy. No fish taste at all. This food tour is off to a great start. 
Oh, I don't want to stop eating this. Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I don't think I've ever liked fish as much as I like that, truly. But maybe the salmon soup will change my mind. We also got some rye bread to try, and this is very traditional to Finland as well. I think it's like a harder bread. It's supposed to be harder, so we'll definitely give this a try too. Can I try the salmon soup or do you want to try it? Go for it. Okay. I'll just be hungry over here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. There is so much salmon in here. Wow, okay. I'm just gonna, there's, the chunks are huge. It's so tender, just like the cod. It just melts in your mouth. No fishy flavor at all. Wow, this is so, so, so delicious. I'd be like this dish was like the number one thing and sauteed reindeer that we had to try while we were here. And oh my gosh, it is so good. Mm. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try the rye bread now. I think I'm just gonna dip it into the soup. It's supposed to be pretty hard, so I think dipping it in the soup will be good. Whoa. That is so interesting. It's like a little sweet, not too hard. I did dip it in the soup though. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of rye bread. I definitely like like white bread better. That's just how I grew up. Everything is so good. I don't even know like what to eat. Everything is too good. Now finally I get to try this salmon soup. I have tried the pea soup and also the salmon salad off camera. And I do think that the breaded cod is still my favorite. But maybe I'll change my mind after this one. Just salmon. Salmon's so good and usually it's like really expensive so I almost never get to eat it. But this time it's a special occasion. There's like chunks of salmon in there but it's easy to easy to eat that and then what is this potatoes yeah i'm assuming they're potatoes yeah they are try to get some of the smoked salmon okay. it's so good yeah i just got some on the spoon the smoked salmon mm, is better than the cooked salmon just in my opinion i mean maybe other people would eat this and say differently i'll dip the rye bread in the pea soup and see how that tastes not the biggest rye bread fan but I think it's probably really good with this soup. Oh yeah, it's better than the salmon soup. This is a pretty solid dish, but hopefully Jenny hasn't finished the breaded cot yet. I literally can't stop eating it. It is just so good. I'm literally just eating no! it behind the camera. No, no, no. Okay, this will be my last bite. Yeah, I get the rest of it. That's my favorite. And wait, we haven't even tried this one yet. <laughs> Jenny just squirted the lemon across the table. <laughs> this is a, looks like a very thin pancake with jam. I think originally when we got it from the salad bar it was hot, but it doesn't seem like it's hot anymore. For me, it doesn't totally fit the vibe of all the other foods here. All of them are like, I don't know, this one feels like a breakfast food. Maybe that's my American talking. Jacob didn't totally sell me on this pancake thing, but I took a bite of it and you guys, it is so good. It's like a crepe pancake and the jam is so delicious. I love it so much. I'm already so full. Everything was so good at this first restaurant and it's only our first stop of the day. Mm, so good. So good. We've been going on and on about food, but one of my favorite parts about just Finland in general is the tap water directly from the sink. It is so delicious. Even when you're in a big city like Helsinki, I mean, we've had it before in Lapland, very Northern Finland, where you can just scoop the water right out of the river and drink it. And this is just included with the price of your meal. In Europe, so many times they're like, oh, we had to pay like two, three, four euros extra just to get a little bottle of water but this is just included. And it's so good too. Some of the best water I've ever tasted in the entire world. We try to avoid recommending restaurants unless they're really, really good because we know that everyone's gonna have a different experience. But in this case, wow, we are so, so happy with that place. And it was just like a good bang for your buck. Like it was yeah. very good food for like a very reasonable price. We were expecting to pay so, so much here in Helsinki. And this got started out with pretty good. Now it is time for a little sweet treat at this bakery here and some coffee. I got a cappuccino and fun fact, Finland consumes the most amount of coffee in the entire world. Mm, so hot. 
Oh, it's so good and creamy. I love cappuccino so much and this one is particularly good. And we got a Finnish blueberry pie and then they were selling like half, like two for the price of one basically. So we also got a raspberry one. It's really interesting. It kind of looks like cheesecake with like blueberries on top. I honestly have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but let's give it a try. Whoa, it's so tart. <laughs> mm. It's really good. I can't really tell what like the white filling is. Mm, it's a little sweet. It might be like ricotta cheese or something. Yeah, I'll try a little bite of the raspberry one. I think the blueberry one is more traditional, but it was two for one, so. Ooh. I really don't like the it. raspberry one. Don't say it, don't say it. I, I like raspberries more than I like blueberries in general, so. I think everything's the same. It just kind of depends what berry is your preference. <laughs> I'm just gonna try a little bit of like the filling to see if I can like taste what it is more. It's very creamy. It's very delicious. Yeah, like ricotta cheese maybe. It does kind of taste like a cheesecake-ish. So blueberry or raspberry? Raspberry. Oh. No, they're both delicious. Like I would gladly eat either one of them, but I'm just more of a raspberry person than a blueberry person, so it makes sense that I like the raspberry better. I just love that Finland is so famous for their blueberries. I mean, we have blueberry juice on the plane here. We have blueberries all the time, and now we get to try it with some pie. Sometimes, like, I see pictures with the blueberry pie where, like, the white filling is, like, on top of the blueberries. This time, the blueberries are on top. I don't know which way would be better, but I like this one. Now, Jenny seems to think that the raspberry is better. Mm. That was like really good for the first second, and it is good, but I like the blueberries better because the raspberry is just a little bit too sweet for me. No matter what fruit you get on your pie, the crust was really solid. Now that it's three in the afternoon, it is dark outside in Helsinki, and we're headed inside to a bar. We were gonna go to a bar and then we realized that making our own long drinks would probably be a lot easier. So we bought a gin and grapefruit. We got some blueberry juice and we're gonna mix it with some Finnish vodka. I'm really excited. I feel like this is gonna be so good. Wow, I feel very Finnish just walking down the street carrying my blueberry juice. The food tour is definitely not over tonight. We are going to get sauteed reindeer with lingonberries and mashed potatoes. We've only had dried reindeer once in Finland, so I'm a little bit nervous to try it. I think it'll probably taste like beef, maybe, I'm guessing. I'm just a little nervous, but it's at a really nice restaurant, so I think it'll be okay. We are gonna try our gin long drink first. I don't know if I've ever had a cocktail well, or a long drink with grapefruit, so. Ooh, it smells very grapefruity. It's a lot sweeter than I thought. I feel like grapefruit is usually pretty sour. It's very interesting. I kind of wish that it was a tiny bit more sour, but it goes down very smooth. I barely taste the alcohol in here at all, so that's always a plus. <laughs> I have a feeling Jacob is going to really like this one. But now, okay, we aren't actually sure if this is a real cocktail, but when I was looking at Finnish cocktails, I read cranberry juice and vodka. So like a cranberry vodka, that's pretty standard drink. And then Jacob was like, hey, we should mix vodka with blueberry juice. And I was like, yes, that is what I need in my life. So we got our blue juice. Oh, it's quite thick. I wonder if we're supposed to add water to this. That's what happened when we were, uh, remember in Lapland? Yeah. Added water to it. Let me give it, a, let me give it a little taste. I don't think so. I think you can just drink it like that. <laughs> no. no. Is that blueberry like concentrate? Oh my gosh, it's like blueberry jelly. Yeah, we need to add water. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so I added some water. I guess the vodka will kind of make it thin too. I don't know how much to put. I'll just, that feels like a good amount. I really need to like mix this. I wish we had ice, but I don't know if our hotel has an ice machine. Probably not, because we're in Europe. Don't know if this is a traditional Finnish cocktail, but... I'm gonna say that it is. Oh! Ha! That was a lot of vodka. Mm, it's very mild. I barely, okay. I don't know why, but now I barely taste the vodka. It's pretty good. I do wish I had some ice. That's like, I think that would really be like the 
tip top. Oh yes, my warm blueberry cocktail <laughs> drink with my crazy hair. Your hair actually looks pretty good. Oh, really? Oh, I like that. I like it. No, I really like it. I just want ice. It's a bit watery. I taste the vodka, but it's not that strong in here. Maybe we could even add a little bit more because it is still pretty thick, but I mean, I love finished blueberry juice, so this is good. It's time for maybe, maybe Finland's most popular alcoholic beverage. Oh, yeah, I like that. Jenny, when you, when you said that I would like this, I yeah. was like, I don't believe you because I don't really like grapefruit or anything grapefruit flavored, but this is better than the blueberry concoction that we made. <laughs> I'm just really happy we got a drink from Helsinki. This is awesome. We're back out in Helsinki at night to go to our fancy restaurant. And it's snowing. We are getting sauteed reindeer, which again, I'm nervous about. And we'll see what else they have on the menu. We are at a traditional Lapish restaurant. We already got our main courses actually. We ordered a while ago and we were just talking, having a good time. We got a sweet Lapish wine, I believe. It's really small. <laughs> <laughs> it's a berry wine. That's oh, very interesting. It's very good. I wish there was more of it. It's a really small glass. We thought it was going to be like really like thick because it was so small, but it's actually quite thin and really delicious. It kind of tastes like like apple wine. We got a very fancy dish. It's crumbled risotto with lapis cheese. <laughs> that was all out of order. A vegetable barley risotto with crumbled lapish farm cheese and butter sauce. Yeah, exactly what he said. So I guess I'm just gonna give it a try. It doesn't have a ton of flavor, but all the textures are really good. I know that sounds kind of weird. I mean, I'm always a cheese girl. Like, give me a block of cheese and I'm, I'm your biggest fan. Okay, I need to try it again. Let's see. I don't know what this like, jam is. I don't know if it's lingonberry. Second bite, much better than the first one. The fried cheese. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited to try the sauteed reindeer. This just showed up on every single list, like a Finnish food you have to try. This is just great. It's also funny that we're at a Lapish restaurant and we were just in Lapland. We basically just had groceries all the time, but now we're in Helsinki and trying this. You didn't get the lingonberries. I didn't get the lingonberries, but I'll do that next time. That was good. The reindeer and the mashed potatoes, and now the lingonberries. The lingonberries added a little bit of sweet and a pop to it. The mashed potatoes are pretty solid, and the reindeer, I don't that's, know. That's the big one. What do you think of the reindeer? Well, I don't know why we're so nervous to try reindeer. It's just because they're cute and just running around in the snow. <laughs> the reindeer is pretty tender. It's also kind of dry, probably on purpose. The flavor's definitely there. Kind of like beef, but it, you can definitely tell there's a difference. I have heard so much about lingonberry. I just feel like I have to try it without anything else first. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. It is very tart and very delicious. I have no idea how that's gonna go with like the savory dishes of the reindeer and the mashed potatoes. I just feel like all of the berries in Finland are so delicious. Like Finland is the land of berries and you should come to Finland just to try the berries. Here we go with the reindeer. I kind of thought the lingonberries would be like a jam, but it's truly just lingonberries. Okay. We got everything in here. You're eating Rudolph right now. How do you feel? Why would you say that? Honestly, it's really good. Mashed potatoes just... Like, mashed potatoes make everything better, honestly. The lingonberries, like, explode in your mouth. It's honestly delicious. Wow. I can't believe it. That's good, because this is an expensive meal. Honestly, like, we're basically done with the food, and I'd have to say this was pretty good. I mean, very, very expensive, but I would say that <laughs> this vegetarian risotto is pretty solid, I mean, for being vegetarian. <laughs> and then the reindeer. Reindeer is good. It was also, like, it was the cheapest reindeer dish that we got, but it was 34 euros. So, I mean, I was expecting it to be, like, really, really amazing. And 
it was good. Honestly, if nobody told me that that was reindeer, I definitely would have just thought that it was beef. And I do really enjoy beef and mashed potatoes, so it was great. The risotto was pretty good as well. The reindeer was definitely a lot better. And that concludes our entire food tour. We hope that you really enjoyed it. We loved it so, so, so much. So if you're new here, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.